Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be doing a DIY and we're going to be doing the pour over art canvas, but on a budget. You guys, most of the things that I found were either at Ross or at the Dollar Tree, which is freaking amazing when you get things for a dollar. I actually also found painting for a dollar at Target that's acrylic paint, which was actually a really good consistency. Now, let me start off by saying you get a lot of hits and miss when it comes with Dollar Tree. I got this big bottle that instantly when I open it up, it should have been just my first thing on. Do not waste your time on this because it was an epic felt on this brand. Now, the other one that is a tube that is in the color black, literally that one's better than the big bottle. Don't get the big bottle, get the tube. Trust me on this. Now, these, again, were a dollar, so to me, that's a money saver. I also ended up buying a full-on pack of 12 colors, I believe so, from Ross, and they were for $12, so a dollar each still is considered a good deal for me. Now, I don't know why, for some reason, I started mixing white and black to get gray, when in the pack, gray was already existing. Now, right now, I'm currently mixing all the colors and I'm adding water, but I'm eyeballing everything completely because I don't have a weight to put it on and, you know, add the milligrams. So I'm eyeballing everything. Mostly, the person who I've been watching is Tictus, and Tictus kind of has like a watery but thick consistency. So that's what I'm trying to get in this video right now. I'm just mixing, adding water, mixing, adding water, mixing, adding water. Now, let me just say, you need to have some arm power in this case, or more on the flick of the wrist, girl, because I had a mix for like literally 30 minutes just to figure it out, to get a good consistency of the product. So here we are just getting different colors. Right here is when I found out I had a gray and I don't know what I was doing. I'm over here trying to get a better consistency on the thicker one that was like just an epic failure. And I just gave up on it. I was like, nope, we need to get this done because time is money and money is time. I don't know. But right here we're mixing and I kind of wanted to get a neutral dark tones into it because what I wanted is kind of to match my room up. So I didn't want a black to be too gray and or black to be too black. I wanted it kind of a subtle move. Now here I'm prepping the white, which actually from this that I bought from Ross, it's a pretty good freaking consistency consistency i ended up just using a little bit of water and like voila it was like the most fastest color blending that i could do now let me just say that i needed another color so i went ahead and grabbed this pink this pink is actually from target which was 99 cents which is like a mind-blowing because it was actually a pretty good consistency and it was really fast to just get it how i really wanted it once we finished mixing all the colors, we're going to go ahead and just remix again. Once we have finished mixing everything, it is time to set up for the grand finale. Now, I ended up doing some gray, which is for another sneak peek DIY that I wanted to try a different way to, you know, see if this one's failed and I have a backup plan. But now it is time to, for mixing. I went ahead and started off with white because that's what tick to start off with. Once I did with the white, I went in with the gray. Then I went in with white again because you have to use a little bit of a device, division division from there. <laughs> then I went ahead and hit the black. And then last but not least, oh, forget a little bit of white. Then last but not least, the pink. And then I went ahead and repeat everything again. And whatever I had left, I just went ahead and pour it. Literally, pouring is like the most satisfying thing to do. The whole they're like the colors are coming out so perfectly they're not too watery they're not blending in with each other you can literally see the division of it so i'm like pretty stoked on how this is so far coming out especially when it comes with it being my first time and it, everything i'm doing is like from the freaking dollar so now it is the moment we have been waiting for i'm very nervous i am very nerve-wracking and and we're ready to get pouring now Right here, we got to shake it off. I'm getting myself in focus. We have everything prepared. We are ready. We are ready for this pour over. And honestly, I did not know where to start. I was contemplating on here or there. I don't, I was trying literally 
what I all I remember is small circle, small circle, small circle, small circle, small circle. And I was trying. I was really trying to do the small circles. But I started noticing that I was running out of space. And I'm like, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I have no more room. It's going to fall through. And now I still have more paint in the cup. What am I supposed to do? Okay. So then I decided to do another row for some reason. This was, I feel that maybe I should have just not done and just go with what I had. But let's see how it comes out. So far, so good. I mean, the design just looks dope. From here, I'm just like, what am I going to do? I, should I move it? Should I not? Ah! And I told myself, grab it. Grab that and move it. You did all this. So let's start moving it. Let's do it. Okay. So we go to the right. No, now we go to the left. And it's like, I don't know where to start. I like the pink, but for some reason the pink is hiding. But I want more pink. But then I got to cover the tips. And I was like, damn it, I forgot to wear gloves. You guys, wear gloves. Because I kid you not, my hands were a hot mess. So far, I'm loving what the black is doing and how the gray is doing and what the pink is doing. And my fear was not having enough coverage. Now, I do remember that he ended up... um touching it from the sides for it to come down for some reason and i really was just trying to get those edges trying to get those curviness and look at this just just look how satisfying it looks i did wish that the pink did not go away but unfortunately you know i was trying to save it but i just couldn't and here's where i'm just like what am i gonna do touch it from the side not maybe omg you guys it came out amazing don't forget to clean the edges from the bottom let it dry for 24 hours and another thing is this literally project was under 10 bucks i want to say just because the canvases were a little more expensive but i just noticed that you could buy some at the dollar tree so let's hit that b-roll now you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun doing it and stay tuned for another one don't forget to subscribe bye guys